Hello everyone, I'm Robin Coburn at craftsyprint.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make up one of my new fantasy designs in a side easel card. There are 10 different designs, all beautiful fantasy scenes, which you can use for a number of occasions. I've included various captions like dream a little dream, have a magical birthday, have a bewitching birthday, as well as some plain happy birthdays and blank tags as well. Um, there are some decoupage layers to put on the front of the card. Inside we have a message plaque. You can either write your own message there or use one of the pre-printed messages. There's a stopper bar, some more decoupage on the side and on the back you can attach a spare message plaque to write your own message. I've um, printed the pieces on 200 GSM matte photo card stock um, and obviously I've already cut them out. You'll have the front, main front piece, a left insert, the back, I've got a, a message plaque for the back of the card. You can either print the insert piece twice and, and then use that on the back or you can, like I'm going to do, use a plain piece of cardstock and then mount the message plaque on top of that. I've also got another piece the same size square cut in half so that uh, I can back the other parts of my easel and there'll be no white showing. First of all, we'll join the insert and the card back. Just going to score down this line first. I'm going to use two rows of tape so that it's nice and strong. Then we need to fold the insert in half. Next, our front piece goes just on that half. You can see we're taking shape already. Now we'll put the stopper bar on. It goes approximately in the middle. It just depends how far you want your card to come across. some thick foam tape to attach the stopper bar. Now 
Now there are also uh, a number of message plaques. I'm going to attach one inside here because I'll need to um, fold it down the centre. You could equally well use these on the back of the card. So just line up that fold, centre it on the plaque on the insert. Now we've got some decoupage pieces that we can put over here, arrange on the uh, side border. On the back we have to attach our narrow pieces of coloured cardstock and the square piece to the back. I've attached one panel there just beside the fold. The next one just goes over here which will also cover the uh, join. On the edges up together. Then we want to put our message plaque on the back. Then you just attach your decoupage layers and um, greeting to the front. I've added some glitter to the mermaid's tail and the seahorse and some glossy accents to the water bubbles. And that is our card finished.